My name is Juan Neto, I'm in the film program, and I'm here today with my peer, Eric Cross. Now, Eric, let's get down to the interview, shall we? Okay. What do you see as the role of visual arts in our mass-mediated world, and particularly in your profession? Well, the role art has taken, in my point of view, is strictly entertainment for viewers, because they can have an emotional entertainment, which would cause joy, or sadness even, which is somehow an entertainment among people. I'm not sure, but that's what it does. Films create excitement and such, so it's just overall entertainment for everyone. That's a great answer. Now, what I would like to know is, with new, with new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or ne negative influence on the industry? Well, that depends. From the distributor's perspective, I believe that it would be a negative because art is usually free viewed online, which means museums and such that charge won't make that money because they're losing that sale to the internet. On the other hand, artists get their work viewed by more viewers because those who couldn't have made it to a museum or exhibit now can just click on their computer and find that art. Wow, what an interesting answer. So. What popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled through the entertainment industry? Well, the Divine Touch painting is seen everywhere. It's almost like beaten over our heads. It's been viewed so much. It's the one I figured for that answer. Are there particular images that this industry has popularized and, you know, or created? Oh, I believe that film has repopularized in a way the Mona Lisa because I feel that the new generation would not have known about it if not for movies such as National Treasure that use the Mona Lisa in those films. I see. And uh, how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Well, knowing that such vibrant paintings and just murals, anything with lots of colors going on and they cause a huge blur that actually makes a cognitive focus point for anybody looking at it. It helps me think that maybe if I, when I get to do set design, that using a vibrant color palette when choosing furniture, walls, and all that to match, it helps me think that that would actually come to the viewer's mind better. I see. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. And uh, once again, this is Juan Netu. And this has been my interview with Eric Cross.